Most definitely. Uh, with, with the Joe Lewis thing, um, I definitely uh, got my actor's name from him. Um, actually, my trainer, J. Deeds, came up with it. We basically, mostly, we brainstormed together um, because I was going to go with a nickname that I, I've always been called and stuff like that, but it wasn't just, you know, this is the professionals, you know, you wanted to put away the amateurish stuff and, you know, this is professional, you're going into the pros. So, me being in the Olympics, winning the bronze, he came up with the bronze. But me having the power of knocking people out, I came up with the bomb. So it's the bronze bomber. And, you know, the, the bomber came up with the bomb, then with bomber, and then we put it together, the bronze bomber. And um, so Jay is like a boxing, like he, he's, he, he's a historian when it comes to boxing and stuff like that. And that's how I found out about Joe Lewis and him being the brown bomber and stuff like that. So we were both from the same state, you know. I went to the Olympics and got the bronze. I'm powerful. He was a knockout artist as well, too. So he was a part of the bomb squad. So we just put it together, the brown bomber and the bronze bomber from Alabama. And it worked out well. And you know, what I want people to to look at me as, and even when I when I leave the sport, to remember me as, is a man that was great. A man that spoke the truth, that spoke his peace, no matter what type of talk he was speaking. You know what I mean? He spoke and he gave it to us real. Because when you give it to people real, it may be harsh at first because they don't understand. But when they look back on life or go through a certain situation, they remember that. My God, he was right. You know, and that's what I do. I try to I try to spit knowledge and I try to lay lay down, you know, real life situations, real things that occur in life and that goes on. Because I want to one day see the, you know, I always talk about speak it, believe it, receive it. And uh, and I really want I really want one day to see the world where we can come together and stuff like that. But even speaking, believing, receiving may not be too powerful enough for that to happen at this point in time. I may not have enough life in me to even see that. But you know, but I can say that certain people, that, well, everyone that I hang around, or everyone that I be around, or even just bring in, man, it's all love and stuff like that. Shout out to BT Boxing. Um. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe while you're subscribing. Subscribe to my channel. Um, that's Wilder expl explaining where he got the whole Bronze Bomber nickname from. Yeah, man, Wilder's a talk of the town. His fight with Fury is going to be stellar, man. It's going to be five-star. I'm more excited about this fight than I am for the Canelo Triple G rematch. Um, simply because of how the first one ended, the controversy in the first one was so annoying that uh, I'm kind of skeptical of this one. So, let's move on to this Fury um, Wilder thing. It seems like it's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, Francesco Pianetta was absolutely demolished. Okay, not demolished, you know, straight up domination, boxing style. He took on Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury, like he did with Klitschko, schooled Pianetta. But we were all expecting that. Um, a lot of the commentators that were on that day kept saying that Pianetta didn't really plan properly for this. Because if he really wanted to crack Fury, he should have been going at Fury with more combinations, right? He was just trying to get that shotgun lifted. Um, yeah... You know, you can say that. Uh, I agree. But I wasn't really that focused on it. I kept thinking about Wilder and Fury. I kept thinking about how Wilder would respond to what Fury was doing to Pianeta. Right? And the response came back. Well, not the response. The, the, the thoughts that came back were pretty simple. Fury has advantages in that match that he won't have during the Wilder match. Reach, not really, he won't have that advantage. Yes, he can try to outbox Fury, he can try to outbox Wilder, but what if Wilder finds a way in? That's going to be a long night for Tyson Fury, man. Let me know what you guys think, like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. How do you feel about it? Conor McGregor, you're taking everything I work for, my I'm going to fight you. You know what's the real fight, what's the real money fight is me. Not these clowns that you already punked at the press conference. Don't no one want to see that. You know you beat them already. That's the easy fight. You want that real
right here. Hey, and it's not Unfortunately, you can't talk like that on Fox. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so I'm so sorry, my wife. Lizzo, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart.